I think my rating should be a 99 from 2K. I work extremely hard. I can make shots from all over the floor. Um, I'm a solid passer. I think I'm a great passer, a great rebounder. Yeah, I pretty much do everything great. That's why I should be a 99. I mean, well, on the bright side, like, nobody's a 99, which I don't understand. Like, how is Kevin Durant, are they holding his, like, his haircut or lack thereof against him? Like, why is he not a 99? Like, is, like, LeBron's right. a 96, Kevin. too. Like, they're both 96s. Like, why, like, based on what? Like, what exactly are you nitpicking? Tough grade. Like, if you were 96, you might Tough as well grade. be a 99. So, LeBron, Durant, they, Giannis, yeah. and Steph are... At the top of NBA 2K22 ratings at 96. And by the way, players, they pay attention to this. They take this thing seriously. Trey Young was like, "Are y'all ever Kawhi gonna get it 95? right?" They take it personal. Why is Kawhi at 95? You, you know, there you, you go. should factor again. in stamina. There you go again. No, I'm not hating. You should factor in stamina. He should be like a 93 stamina, like dope player when he's out there. But if you play him too much, you know, you you, you got those players like the injury injury ratings. His injury should be like uh like like a 60 out of 100. Um, All right. Well, I, mean, I don't really the have the any same problem. Said for M the same could be said for MB, but okay, like I got it. I mean, but that's a solid yeah. list. That's a solid list. There's Trey Young with the 89, and he didn't take too kindly. How's Trey not Trey um, Young only 89? That's that's crazy. I know. I, 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 I it, listen. It's it's serious business. It is serious business. It's also a, a decent litmus test. It's really just another excuse to kind of argue about ranking NBA players, which never gets old. Yeah. Um, I, I want to get I'm, I'm gonna come back to gaming in a moment. I do want to talk to you about gaming both yeah. 2k 22 and uh, that narcotic known as Madden uh, 22 um, But yeah, you did get around to watching uh, Speaking of KD you did get around did. to watching chips the uh, Draymond Green Interview with Kevin Durant that dropped on Bleacher Report yesterday We talked about it some but you hadn't seen it yet. You have seen it would love to hear your impressions. Well, Mike, uh, as I watched it, uh, a couple things stood out to me. Um, I'm listening to Kevin Durant tell his story and, and talk about his perspective, not just on basketball, but on life. And I'm witnessing this conversation between Durant and Draymond. Draymond. And you know what? My thought was, I kind of like Kevin Durant. <laughs> I can't believe it. I, I like, told Yo. you. I told I you like, you would. Man. Didn't I tell you yesterday? Man. I told you that. I, 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 am I getting? I knew, am am I getting some feels? Well, am I catching the feel feels? Yeah, he did. I he mean, he came off like, quite well, didn't he? He did. He, how about he said one of the things he said that it really tripped me out. Look, the thing I can relate to, obviously, uh, and he could have gone. They both could have gone deeper on this, really, to kind of give some insight into why basketball players, and by extension, a lot of people who are from the hood. All right, why they have the work ethic that they have, why it's it's that urgency and intensity that they have. And he talked about that and he said, look, you know, a lot of people take it too far. We all walking around because it's so hard to get here. And the stuff that we had to go through, not just as basketball players, but just in the neighborhood mm -hmm. to get into this mm -hmm. position. I said, oh, preach, mm -hmm. doc, preach. You know, Michael Smith can tell that story. Michael Holly can tell that story. Kevin Durant, James Harden, Draymond Green, a lot of guys. So I really was, I really was interested right. in that. But I kind of smiled when he said, "Hey, you know, I know it's cliche to say you go hard, you go, you practice like you play, you go hard all the time." He said, "But I am a cliche." He said, "I'm a simple dude." <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, you know, a lot of people really don't describe uh, themselves that way. I enjoyed the interview. I really did. The one thing that did, stands out did, to me. Don't you agree? What wasn't it? I'm sorry, but what, what didn't it get better as it went along? And even though the it Bob did. Myers, Steve Kerr, you know, argument stuff got the headlines. But once they started talking about what makes them tick and why he doesn't have it, kids yeah, or his life. burner account, I the thought basketball. that was the better yeah. part of the interview. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I thought it was the better part. I'll say, Mike, it stood out to me because we have these content creators. That's what they are. They are. Uh, they're not just dipping into the space that we occupy. They are occupying the space that we're, yeah. that we're kind of hanging out. And that's what they're doing. They're occupying it. Like, these are current players who are doing a media thing. And I will applaud them for, and not just these two. There are a lot of players out there producing some compelling content. But if you're going to be a content creator, 
I think it's also fair to make you accountable for what you say. And I, I, I didn't see a lot of people push back against KD Draymond blame Myers Kerr for this for mishandling the situation. Yeah. Push back in this sense. In this sense. Hmm. That's their side of the story. What's Bob yeah. Myers' side of the story? What's Steve Kerr's really side care. of the story? Does you know? It matter? It does. I, 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 wait, it does but because in the I'm name saying of it doesn't accuracy, matter. These are grown men. Especially these are grown men. I know, but especially if they get a pinned on them. I'm just saying, just from a from a storytelling standpoint, okay. just in the, in the interest of getting yeah. it right. If you're saying, right. if you're saying, hey, man, they effed it up, and oh, I felt the same way, and uh, I, I kind of told them, y'all go, y'all about to mess this up. Okay, is that how they remember it? Is that what happened? And if Bob Myers did do that. Why do you think he did that? Like you're the one who had to fight. Don't turn this around on exactly. Bob Myers and exactly. Steve Kerr. Y'all had to fight. So now that's why they it screwed it up. No, no. You might that, have screwed that, it up. That's why I said that, And they're trying for, to manage for, it. The for the record, the for the record part, yeah, you're right. Like as a, from a journalism standpoint or a storytelling standpoint, a response or their side of the story needs to be heard. If you're going to, you know, point the finger at them, they need to be able to defend themselves. But I'm not even putting them on trial because that's the that's that's my point. I don't care. like Bob Myers and Steve Kerr. Like, who cares whether they mishandled it or not? Y'all had the argument, and Kevin Durant ultimately left. So you right. can't tell me that Kevin Durant walked out the door when he otherwise would not have, but for how management handled, or as the case may be, mishandled an argument that two grown ass men had. And he right, did that exactly. without Draymond and Kevin having a meeting of the minds before he left. Like Draymond at one point said, I think you were just over it. I think Draymond was over it too. Like that's why they had the argument. Like he yeah. was like, you know, Dray what Draymond's whole point was we won before you got here. Like they had the argument. The, the, the town wasn't big enough for the both of them at a certain point and it ran its course. Like Kevin Durant said, like it was, we did what we had to do. So to, that, that's another reason why I wasn't as interested in the re, and, and they've covered this before. This isn't the first time they've ever addressed that fight against right. the Clippers. That's why I wasn't interested in it because neither one of them truly just stepped back and they never really got into the nitty gritty of the fight itself and what that it represented, they really why they fought and why they were grinding on each other's nerves to where it exploded in public like that. All they did was say it got weird because of how management handled it. It's like, all right, man, but y'all could have squashed it. They kinda, it didn't have to end that yeah, way kinda, if y'all yeah. didn't want it to. They, yeah, they kind of pushed it off. They kind of pushed it off on management. And I'd say that was the one part where I said, okay, come on, bro. But uh, other than that, it, it really was an interesting interview. And Durant, I will say one thing that I will disagree with uh, for the record, where he says, hey, these people who come at me on uh, social media, uh, a lot of them are Cavs fans, which I'm not or they're upset that I left Golden State. I'm not or went to Golden State. I'm not. So th that that's not it. I I think he's got a in some cases well, that's, but that's he probably you. just has to come. That's you. you. You think most people who have a problem with Kevin Durant fit into those two categories? They 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 don't like him because he left Golden State or went there or they're Cavs fans? You think that's it? The Cavs, the, Cavs, the Cavs fan part, I guess what he really means is, is Cavs, LeBron, LeBron era Cavs fans. I LeBron, guess. Yeah, LeBron fans. But I, LeBron I think slash Cavs fans. I, would, yeah. I would venture to say, I, I would venture to say, my, my guess, dare I say educated guess, is that if you took Kevin Durant haters, you took a poll of Kevin Durant haters, I would venture to say that 90% it's conservatively 90% of Kevin Durant haters their hatred and resentment toward Durant is rooted in him leaving Oklahoma City after blowing a 3-1 lead to yeah. the Warriors and joining the 73 win Golden State Warriors who had already won uh, a championship without him. I think there are so many people who will never forgive him for that. 
no matter how many amazing performances he put forth in a Warriors uniform, helping them beat the Cavs, or no matter how many game fives like he had against Brooklyn, or had for Brooklyn against the Bucks, there are some people who will take, who will, at any opportunity, will drop a snake emoji in the comments under anything Kevin Durant. I think 90% of the people have a problem with Kevin because other than that, which, you know, I didn't like it at the time, but I was qu I quickly got over it. Um, and it was unusual. It definitely was unusual for all the reasons we just laid out. But other than that, what could you ha what, how could you hate on Kevin Durant? What is there about Kevin Durant for you to say, man, I just I don't I don't dig that dude. Just like a lot of people for a long time hated on LeBron because of the way he announced the decision because he like left. to me right. the or, decision was LeBron's tan suit. That was Le that was LeBron's tan suit and yeah, uh, and, and 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 you know going to Golden State if the worst thing you can say about Kevin Durant is he decided to join a great team and be the best player on that great team the moment he walked in the door. I mean, I, I, I could see why Kevin Durant is at peace with himself and he could live with it. Well, also, but you know, I that's part of it. And I guess, uh, you know, going away from myself, just talking about celebrity in general, celebrities in general, we, we got to factor in this. And I think, Mike, we're so used to being in this business, as you said off the top, you've been doing it for a long time. I've been doing it for a long time. Like when we see professional athletes, we're used to that. Like we're used to sitting down and talking with professional athletes. We're, we're used to seeing these guys up close. And it's not just, hey, there's a famous person. Here's somebody I want to talk to. Here's somebody I'm getting to know away from their sport. And, and we connect or whatever. So we, we kind of at times forget what we're doing because it's just what we've done. And there are some people who don't like celebrities because they're celebrities. They don't like them sure because... That. Of the lifestyle, yeah. of, of the lifestyle that they have, of the publicity that, that yeah. they get. I mean, there's there's some yeah. there's just some jealousy there because not that oh, these people yeah. have the ability to do what Kevin well, Durant does. I'm, I, I'm gonna hate on you. I'm just gonna hate on you because you're rich and you're but famous. That's that ten percent. I gave you ten percent. That's yeah. that ten percent. That's that ten percent. But did you find it fascinating? Speaking of media, did you find it fascinating as I did when Draymond asked him about his dealings with the media? And he said very insightfully, I might add, I used to think they were smarter than me. I, I kind of mm. looked up to them in a sense that they had the history, they had this knowledge that I didn't have. And then I figured out that they can never see things the way I see them. And maybe mm. a lot of them don't know as much. I gave them too much credit. And once mm -hmm. I figured out who I was, their thoughtful questions. He said this, their intelligent questions didn't sound so smart anymore. And I really wasn't mm -hmm. feeling it like I used to. I mean, I thought that was a great answer. That was I, I, I was really yeah. there were a couple there were a couple of areas where I, I, I sat there and I said, I need a little bit more there. Give me a little bit yeah. more. And that's where we come in. If I can pull rank here. That's where we come in as professional. Well, that's that, well, what, we now you see what I was saying yesterday. I didn't want to be too yeah. hard on him from yep. a critique standpoint because yep. Draymond's a natural yep. and you know, he, he's got a lot of potential, but it's like, okay, he hasn't been doing this as long as we have no different than we could never see him on a basketball court. Hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us three to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.